Five, you can already feel the excitement for the Magic City Classic with 70,000 fans expected at Saturday's game. Visitors from all over. Well, they're staying in our hotels, eating at our restaurants, and it's definitely giving the city's economy a nice boost. Leaders tell us. Here's Bria Chapman. Birmingham's Economic Development Office expects to make more than $30 million this year, the most they've ever seen from the Magic City Classic. And with tickets being sold in dozens of states, that means thousands of people are here spending money, not just at the game, but throughout the city. Cornell Wesley with the Department of Innovation and Economic Opportunity says the city has made about 25 to $30 million in the past, but this year they expect that number to be $35 million or more. He says with more than a dozen events happening every night, hotels booked, and people looking for places to eat and hang out, they should bring in the revenue to make this a very special Magic City Classic, not just in Birmingham, but in other nearby cities. From a hotel perspective, you have people having to stay out as far as Fultondale and Garndale, and in some cases probably Alabaster and Pelham. That tells us that that impact is not just within the city of Birmingham, it's going to be within the MSA as well. So while Birmingham may have a direct impact of something around 19 or 22 million, the whole MSA could reasonably see 35 to 40 given how far people have to stay and how far people have to spend. Wesley says if you own a business in Birmingham or surrounding areas, take advantage of all the crowds here this weekend. Coming up at 6, hear from local businesses about how they are enjoying and welcoming crowds this week. In Birmingham, I'm Bria Chapman, WBRC, Fox 6 News on your side.